Moscow, Germany's most difficult World Cup opponent might not be on the field in Russia. The reigning world champions already have proved they can beat Mexico, the team they play in their group stage opener, as well as Lionel Messi's Argentina and Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. They played France, Spain and England in draws in the past seven months. Thomas Müller is one of nine Germany players who was part of the victorious 2014 World Cup team. Germany faces Mexico in the first Group F game for both teams on June 17. Alex Grimm, Von Gartz, Getty Images The foe Germany might have trouble overcoming, however, is history. Since 1938, only one country, Brazil, has won back-to-back -back World Cups, something the Germans will be trying to do this summer. That makes the targets on the backs of their uniforms especially heavy, says midfielder Ilke Gundogan. Over the last three years, every team that we played against, they were just trying to beat the world champions, he said. That's what makes it really hard. Germany returns nine players from the 2014 World Championship team, but many of those missing were key contributors, among them captains Bastian Schweinsteiger and Philipp Lahm, forward Miroslav Klose, the top goal scorer in World Cup history, and forwards Mario Goetz and Andrei Schürrle, who came off the bench to combine on the only goal in the last World Cup final. Arsenal midfielder Mesut Ozil, who started all seven games in Brazil four years ago, soon could join that list because of a knee injury in last week's game with Austria. Those players, they were essential for the World Cup trophy, said Gundogan, who missed the 2014 tournament because of a back injury. The real challenge is not to replace these kinds of players. But in Germany, we have a lot of talent, so the potential is definitely there, it's up to us to show it, indeed, depth may be Germany's strength. The team won the Confederations Cup and a team free World Cup tournament in Russia last summer with what was basically a B team. But that, too, may be a bad omen. No Confederations Cup winner has repeated as World Cup champion. You can do it, said former Argentine international Mario Kemps. But doing it is difficult, Kemp scored a tournament high six goals, including two in the final, to lead Argentina to a World Cup title in 1978. Four years later, Argentina was knocked out in the second round, we didn't have the same mentality that we did in 1978. And didn't have the best players, he explained. Everyone plays with the objective of being champion. But it's difficult to do, everything depends on your mentality, that mentality can be shaped by expectation. Four years ago, Brazil, playing at home, was a strong World Cup favorite, and its players wilted under the pressure, stumbling into the semi-finals where it was pummeled 7-1 by Germany. This summer, that pressure falls on Germany, which has been ranked no. When in the world for much of the last four years, it's a hell of a lot easier when you're the underdog, said Hercules Gomez, who played in three World Cup games for the US. When you're the top dog and you have a target on your back, every single move will be scrutinized, will be talked about, will be analyzed, you're really in a no-win situation, Germany appears equipped to handle it given the steady hand at the wheel. Joachim Lowe has coached the national team since 2006, guiding it not just to World Cup and Confederations Cup titles, but to the semi-finals of three consecutive European championships and a third-place finish in the 2010 World Cup. It is arguably the most impressive coaching resume in international soccer history. And even after the roster turnover of the last four years, the team Lowe will lead in Russia will be among the deepest and most experienced in the tournament. The best way for me to deal with pressure was just to focus from game to game, Schweinsteiger said. The coach knows what to do, put it all together. A deep roster, seasoned players, the most successful coach in international soccer with experience in handling pressure, and it's hard not to see Germany defying history by winning again. And that's exactly what Schweinsteiger and Gomez expect, my personal feeling is yes, said Schweinsteiger, who retired from the national team after the 2016 European Championships and now plays in Major League Soccer with the Chicago Fire. But I know how hard it is, especially when you are one of the favorites and all the eyes are on you, added Gomez, they're good enough and they're supposed to win. 
most likely they get there and they do win, that's a machine you're talking about. This German team is unlike any I've seen.